Welcome to Politics and Why with Sky Behind the Curtain, where we speak with industry insiders about what's going on in city and state politics. And right now I'm with a friend of mine, Mia Sotis Munoz, who worked on the Eric Adams campaign. She's still working on the campaign as the director of Latino Outreach. So let's hear all about it, Mio. How's it going? It's exciting. It's um, exciting to be working with a candidate that is really a people's candidate. I really enjoyed the opportunity to go out there to the various communities. When people think of Latinos, they they don't realize it's a it's a it's a general you know um, idea that you know we all have the same issues and what affects one community may not affect all communities. And that is something that Eric has been able to do. He's not a new friend. He's an old friend. Um, He's been working with the Mexican community, the Ecuadorians community, cultivating those relationships, understanding their history, understanding their culture, the music, the Dominican community, the Puerto Rican community. So working in, I would say, the most diverse city of New York has really made this that much more fun. We know, we do know we have a lot of issues we need to take on, such as the situation with COVID, which of course everyone knows is moving forward is not only affecting our businesses, but is also affecting education and how we are able to um, bounce back as a city, which we're a very strong city. It's about leadership and the Latino communities, um, and I make that plural, uh, we're, we're an issue-based community and Eric was able to speak to the issues and reach out to all the Latinos communities to make sure that we're addressing those issues. And now moving towards November, how will your role evolve with reaching out to all those different communities? Well, I've been already meeting with a lot of the different coalitions that worked with us. Um, just to make sure that one of the things that we're doing is understanding that crime is still an issue, police reform, um, going to the different communities, understanding what specific issues they have, how can we work together? Um, It's not just about being able to create policies because you think that's just going out to the community advocates. That's what's really made our campaign that much different is the opportunity to connect with the advocates. Advocates understand firsthand what their issues are, how to address them. Um, I've, we understand that we need to do more as far as civic participation. My role right now, we wanna make sure that we have a very strong voter education, voter outreach campaign. I've been meeting with the Mexican Americans Coalition, which is led um, by Manuel Guerrero, and also with the um, Cuban leadership through um, Pena, who's also an attorney who's been working on immigration issues and what that means in terms of all the different challenges that we have and that we want to address in the most responsible and the most sensitive way. So one of the things that we're doing is every week we meet with the Latino coalition builders. We we call them the 18, the Adams 18, which are there to advise us um, we have a lot of the parents who are concerned about what it means to, you know, send their children back to school, what that's going to look like. So we're not just waiting until, you know, Eric, you know, assumes the official position once he's, um, of course, elected in November. This is where the work gets done. We, we're still on grassroots mode, um, talking to the leaders, understanding that There are many challenges, but the most important challenge is how do we get people involved in the civic process? The more people that are involved, the better government works. It's hard to engage people who are so disenfranchised or feel like their government leaders aren't paying attention. So maybe tell us a little bit, Mio, about even your background, how you got involved in in this type of work to begin with. Well, thank you, Sky. I actually started as a case manager working with at youth, um, at risk youth, and just being able to work with different elected official and in terms of Latino outreach for bar presidency, Virginia Fields. Um, I worked also with um, Congressman Rangel, who's been such a strong supporter of the Eric Adams 2021 campaign. And he asked me to come on board and, and just understanding that it's a small world of advocates and we all stick together. So having worked with 
um, on campaigns such as the Obama campaign, the Mayor Bloomberg campaign, people know you, people see that it's genuine, the love for the community, the desire to want to make a difference, a positive change is there, and the ability to connect with the advocates on the ground and understand the power of the grassroots community is what really makes the difference. So thank you for all that you do. And let's continue to get people involved and engaged in politics because politics is everything. And it's like you're saying, community relationships mm -hmm. and politics. So, so thank you so much, Mio, for being on here, Politics and Why with Sky Behind the Curtain. Gracias. Thank you.